On this episode of The Sequence, I will show you how to set up your MIDI controller. The Sequence. What is going on people? So we are back at it again with another episode of The Sequence and a lot of people have asked me, and this is probably the most requested, most DM'd question, how do you set up your Akai MPK Mini so it will work with the MPC Beat software? and also any other MIDI controller. And it's quite possible. I've actually covered how to set it up in a separate video. I don't know, I'm just gonna do this video because I think it will help. So leave a comment below, let me know how you feel. Let's start. So the first controller we're gonna start off with is setting up the Akai MPK Mini. So it's not plugged up right now, there's nothing plugged up to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it up. And it's, the DAW is open and I'll show you other steps and I have sounds selected and all that stuff. But let's go ahead and get back to plugging it up here. So let's plug it up. All right, so it's plugged up. Now, uh, setting it up is pretty easy. I will just go over here to the top right of the screen here. And then I will go over here to help and then open up Startup Wizard. So from here, uh, the next thing we're gonna do is plug up the MIDI controller, which we already taken care of. Uh, it recognized the Akai MPK Mini. So that's the Mark II that we're talking about here. I'm gonna go ahead and select Advanced. We're in there, start making beats. So we're good to go. But we're gonna check out the pads real quick. All right, so that seems like it's okay. Everything right, right there is okay. I'm good with that. but it might not be the same way for you. So the next thing you will have to do is go to the bottom right part of the screen. So from going to the bottom right part of the screen, we're gonna select something. So if I was to unclick this, look what happens. It just got crazy weird. So I'm gonna do that again so you can see it. So it's important that you enable it. Not everything is mapped. All right, so everything is mapped properly. Uh, but there is another step here. I want you guys to understand because there are people that are complaining about this and I wanna help them. So the next thing you might wanna do is go over here to your preferences. You need to be familiar with this so you can set up your MIDI controller. So you have MIDI sync here. So we have MIDI sync and you see all the controllers that are available. You know, I even have networks open, uh, the push two in here and I'll show you how to set that up as well because, but yeah, make sure that you have all the tracks enabled. And if you have to have the control part uh, enabled, select that as well, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get back to it here. Boom. And yeah, so everything is fine here. Everything is good to go. I already know, I can hear you complaining now. What about other controllers? Well. Let's check out the push two and see if we can get that to hook up. All right, I just grabbed my push two here. I'm gonna set it down. I'm gonna do everything nice and slow for you guys here. I'm gonna make sure that I have everything leveled here. Now I'm gonna see if I can plug it up. Let's plug it up here. Let's go plug it up. All right. Just push two, let's go ahead. Make sure everything is kind of balanced here. The wire is out the way. So nothing is working right now, that's perfect. And we're gonna go into the software here. Uh, we're gonna run the wizard again. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this learn. Let's go over here. Let's go into help here, because I wanna make sure that you guys understand that this is very important. Set up wizard, boom. And it still says MPK mini, so we don't need that. We need to push two. So let's select push two. And now go select advance. Boom. And start making beats again. Now let's go over here, press on some pads. Ah, nothing. Nothing is set. So that's cool. Oh, is there an, oh. So I actually had to unplug it and replug it up for it to work. Yeah, but.
yeah, it's working. So let me go ahead and get it a little bigger on the screen for you guys so you can see it. Yeah, it's working perfectly. <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. I don't know, but you can also uh, map it. And that's probably what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, map the pads here. So map it. Map everything until I can get all the stuff here. Boom. 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 Just map everything here. And keep learning different things. Go to the here. Map that here. Map playback. This is what you would do. This is how you would set it up. If you had like a third party, again, they're going to uh, fix that with an update. Of course, they're going to come out with the maps here. I, I did that wrong. Let's go back here. There we go. Oh, now we learned. And everything is here. See? Oh, so tell me how you feel in the comment section. I definitely want to know from you guys. How do you feel about, you know, setting up this and whatnot? And I will have a link in the description box to uh, where you can buy this right here. I think the best place to buy the Kai MPK Mini is Sweetwater.com because you get a two year warranty. So that's actually really good. They have great customer service. On top of that, they have a two day delivery. And if you pay a little bit more, you can get this the next day, depending on where you stay. It took me a day to get this uh, when I wanted to start doing these tutorials. And I'm actually pretty happy with it for the most part. And there's other controllers too as well. And stay tuned.